What's going on, Ray fam? Just got back from EDC 2019 and it was nothing short of a face melter. But like any large event, it was a logistics nightmare. I mean, 150,000 people in one place. What do you expect? So this video is actually devoted to making sure that you're prepared for next year's EDC and you don't have to learn the hard way like I did. If you're unfamiliar with EDC, it's a rave. Well, actually a rave on steroids. It's one of the largest raves in the entire world. So if you haven't gone, I suggest putting this on your bucket list. You will not be disappointed. Guarantee you'll have a good time, especially if you follow the tips on this video. Premier shuttles. Okay, months before you even show up or anything and you buy your ticket, you also need to buy a shuttle pass. Now, assuming you're not taking the helicopter, which is also an option for you ballers, but if you're not gonna take that, take the shuttle. Don't take an Uber, don't drive. Those are slow, expensive, and potentially unsafe. The shuttle is the fastest, easiest, and most convenient way to get to the event. So shuttles, you have two options, the regular shuttle or the premier shuttle. The premier shuttle is twice as expensive, but it's worth every penny, I guarantee it. Why? Bathrooms. Having access to bathrooms will make or break your experience, guaranteed. Oh, I know, trust me. Having to go to the bathroom is not a fun experience and will ruin the rest of it, no matter how good the DJ is. And some of the Premier Shuttles actually have bathrooms on board, so you don't even have to worry about that. Taking care of the non-sexy stuff, where to go to the bathroom and where to get some water, super important and will ensure you'll enjoy yourself. Hard meeting times. This is the first time I've used this this year and it has saved my butt. The reason for having a hard meeting time is because A, a ton of people, and B, your phones don't work. It's like we're going back to the Stone Age for several hours. A good hard meeting time needs to be very specific in its location and time. For instance, 11.30 p.m., meet under the sea in the sign kinetic field with all these people saying something like, oh, go meet by the daisy, not going to work. You're going to get on, trust me. So before you even leave the hotel, set a hard meeting time or two, and then you'll be able to find your friends if you get split up. Totems. Okay, I'll talk more about this in my next video about what to bring, but totems are basically giant signs or beacons so that you can find your friends if you get lost. Usually something unique like a flag or something with a lot of LED lights. Some even brought a Pikachu this time. That way, if your group gets split up a little bit, you can look up and still find each other. The bigger and brighter, the better. Finding people is a nightmare, and you can save yourself a headache by bringing a totem. Squad totems, clutch. Okay, now that you've taken care of all the basics, where do you go? There's, of course, the big stages like Kinetic Field, Circuit Grounds. But if you're into techno and house, there's some really cool hidden gems, smaller ones called Art Cars. They're just dotted around the venue. Why do I like them? DJs are fire, 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 and there aren't that many people. So you essentially get to have your cake and eat it too. When you become an old man like I am, things like space and places to sit down are paramount. All right, day clubs. If your body and your wallet can handle it, I suggest going to at least one day club while you're at EDC. The nightclubs just open up during the daytime and they have DJs and drinks and all that, just like you're used to, except the sun is out. It's a lot of fun, trust me. My only suggestion for this is drink tons of water. Even if you don't feel thirsty, the dancing and the sun and the alcohol, it's like a perfect storm. You'll be KO'd in no time if you're not prepared. So drink tons of water. If you don't, you might be knocked out and then came and enjoy the rest of the EDC and you'll just wasted it. But other than that, just enjoy yourself. So here's a quick rundown of all the tips for EDC and its day clubs. I'm sure I've left some stuff out. If you have any other suggestions, put them in the comments. Help out the Ray fam. Next week, again, I'm going to be releasing a video on what to bring for EDC 2020. So stay tuned for that. Peace. Smash subscribe for the latest How to Speak American videos.